Hello friends, today we will discuss about components of virus. First, we will discuss about nucleoid. So it represents the viral chromosome. That is, a nucleoid is a viral chromosome and it is made up of a single molecule of nucleic acid, which is either RNA or DNA. So a nucleoid may be linear or circular in shape and it has a various degree of coiling. So the nucleoid is the most infective part of a virus. So the nucleic acid is either DNA or RNA and never both. So the DNA containing viruses are called deoxyviruses and the RNA containing viruses are called riboviruses. So each of them has two subunits that is double stranded and a single stranded viruses. Now we will discuss about double stranded DNA or DSDNA. So they are the viruses that have double strand DNA in them. So examples to them is bacteriophages that is T2 bacteriophage, T4 bacteriophage, lambda bacteriophages, cauliflower mosaic viruses, Fox viruses, etc. Next is single stranded or SSDNA. So examples of SSDNA are coliphage MS2, coliphage FD, and these are either linear or circular DNAs. So a single strand DNA is called a plus strand. So the complementary or the negative strand is synthesized to produce the duplex. For replication during the multiplication of virus. So, next is double stranded or DSRNA. So, this is where the genetic material is double stranded RNA. So, the examples are Rio virus, tumor viruses. The next category of virus is single stranded or SSRNA. So, it is a common in riboviruses and here the strand is generally linear. So examples are tobic mosaic virus, influenza virus, bean mosaic virus, retrovirus, etc. So retrovirus has two copies of single stranded RNA and hence it is deployed. And for example of retroviruses are HIV that is human immunodeficiency virus. So in some riboviruses, the RNA itself is the template and it takes part in replication. An example of such viruses is TMV, influenza virus, etc. But in some other viruses, the RNA involves in the synthesis of complementary DNA and this is done through the reverse transcription. So example of such viruses is oncogenic virus and HIV viruses. So some viruses, the RNA, from RNA, the protein is being synthesis. But in some cases, the RNA leads to the synthesis of complementary strand DNA. And from DNA, the information for protein synthesis goes to RNA. And finally, a protein is being synthesis. The next component of a virus is a capsid, also known as cot or a sheet. So a capsid is a proteinaceous covering that is present around a virus. So this is present to protect the nucleoid from the damage. That is, the nucleoid is being protected from the attack of physical and even chemical agents. So a capsid is made up of several subunits and these subunits are known as capsomeres. So a TMV virus has 2130 capsomeres in the capsid. So a binary bacteriophages, the capsid sheet is contractile. So in this diagram, this is a tobacco mosaic virus which is known as TMV. The green color together is called the capsid layer that is the proteinaceous layer that covers the inside RNA. 
So this capsule is made up of several small subunits that is each single subunit is called cap capsomere. So several capsomere join together to form a capsid layer. The next component is an envelope. So an envelope is a loose membranous covering and this covering is usually seen in animal viruses and it is rarely seen in plant and bacterial viruses. So in contrast to the envelope virus, the viruses that do not have this envelope is called the naked virus. So the envelope virus is the virus which has a loose membranous cover that is present outside the capsid layer. So those viruses that lack these envelope is called naked virus. So these envelope consist of proteins, lipids as well as carbohydrates. In this, the proteins are derived from the virus, whereas the lipids and carbohydrates are from the host. So it has many subunits which is called peplomers. So the surface of the envelope is either smooth or it may have some spikes on them. So examples of viruses which are enveloped is HIV, Vaccinia virus, etc. So this diagram shows a naked as well as an enveloped virus. So an enveloped virus has an outer covering that is an outer membranous covering. So this covering is absent in some viruses and these viruses are called naked viruses. So apart from the capsid layer in some virus there is an envelope and this envelope is made up of protein, carbohydrates and lipids. So such virus is called envelope virus and those that doesn't have that layer is called naked virus. So in some viruses the envelope consists of spikes. That is, in some virus, the envelope layer is not smooth. It is having some projections called spikes. Whereas, it is not present in all envelopes. So now, let us discuss the last component of a virus, which is enzymes. So this enzyme is occasional. The enzyme lysozyme is present in the region that contacts the host in a bacteriophage. And there are several other enzymes which are present in a virus. It may include RNA transcriptase, reverse transcriptase, etc. So now let us conclude. So a structure of a virus has two parts that is a nucleoid that is the nucleic acid which is centrally placed and a protein coat. In addition to the protein coat in some viruses there is an additional coat which is the envelope. So this is a typical structure of a virus. A virus has a centrally located genetic material. This genetic material can be RNA or a DNA. It can be either a single stranded or a double stranded. So around these genetic material there is a protein layer and this layer is called a capsid. In some viruses there is an additional layer and this membrane is called the envelope. The envelope is either a smooth or a spiked structure. So in some viruses we find spikes on the envelope. So this is the basic structure of a virus. Hope you understood the structure of a virus. For more such videos do subscribe to our channel. If you like the video please like and share with your friends.